Hey guys, how's it going? This helpful lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's channel introduction video. This is a cool video series that I made so I could start to catalog and showcase all of the great videos in Locksport. This week we're going to be meeting the channel Rook Knight. So without further ado, let's meet Rook Knight right now. Hi, Rook Knight here. Uh, welcome to my channel, and I'd like to thank the helpful lockpicker for allowing me to do this. Um, I thought I'd just take you on a fast tour and show you some of the locks I picked as well as some of the different things I've made and uh, done on my channel and showed. So some of the things are, this is the first lock I picked is a Master 140 and I've been progressively picking harder locks as I go. I even dabble in dimple locks and this is a frame warded lock and I made a pick out of a old house key I had and was able to pick. I showed how I did that on video. Um, I pick and gutted this slider lotto lock on video and also Bradley safe keys. Uh, I have an array of other locks, but I just thought I'd show you some highlights. Um, this is a pack lock for 10 pro. It's a seven pin lock. It's my favorite because I got it out of uh, being able to get a black and red one, which is, I don't know if you noticed, kind of my theme. I absolutely love it and I have shoes that match it. Um, some of the also other things that I've done was make... Uh, a holder for a kick cylinder, home, a DIY. If you don't have the 3D process or you can't, you know, you're just starting out, this is a great little thing to be able to hold your kick cylinders. I've made uh, light up followers. These was an idea from Hillbilly Locksport that I seen him do, and I made my own take. Um, I also made picks. These are some of the easier pick handles I made. I showed how to do that on my channel as well as even uh, leather coat pick cozies in case you would like to do something like that. I've made stuff like that. Um, some of, And then I did a lot of handles, different handles I showed on my channel. These are some of the picks that I made and the handles also. And this one stood out because I made this with vinegar. I actually um, did a vinegar bath which made the wood have a reaction and it has that burnt look on it. This is actually the same type of wood, but it because I didn't do it to this one, it really did make a difference. I thought that was kind of neat. So I showed on the video about what was that involved exactly. Um, this was a cool double-sided pick I made. Um, this is another nice one I like that I made. This one I just made recently on a and uh, it's just nothing more than a handle to a X-Acto knife. And I just made the profile and inserted it in and it works fantastic. Um, I'm also a big fan of challenge locks. I like picking challenge locks on my channel. I also like making challenge locks, and I and I and I, this is one I have to actually send out. Um, in the future, I would like to start doing um, some of the locks I have for up and coming would be tubular locks. I have the pick set for it, and I also wanted to do single pin picking. And I have cross locks as well as trying to escape from handcuffs. Different ways to do that, uh, and also um, have a little fun with uh, decoding different locks and things. I thought that would be a fun video to make. Uh, even I have a bank bag that I wanted to do too, eventually. I usually only put about one video a week out, so not to try to be um, too overwhelming and stuff. I know there's a lot of videos to watch, so I don't do too many. Sometimes I will do a couple. I have been known to put out three in, in a week. Um, but besides that, that's pretty much me. I like having a good time. I usually am to the point. And I would love to be able to help somebody uh, that is trying to pick a lock, you know. And even for those guys out there that are, you know, way above me, I hope maybe they would watch and uh, maybe give me some pointers and let me know how they pick their lock and what got them uh, an open faster even. I really enjoy lock sport. It's one of my favorite things in life, to tell you the honest God truth. I'm very obsessed with it, and that's one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel um, my family thought I was kind of crazy, so at least I on here I can find like-minded people. So uh, it definitely has been working out. It's really a passion of mine. Even my son is looking forward to every video and stuff like that. Um, and it's just been a really good time. I really just enjoy myself. And I hope I can entertain somebody and, you know, every once in a while you can tune in and take a look. But uh, that's pretty much my channel in a nutshell. And as far as I got anyway and I hope you guys will be joining me for the rest of it and uh, thanks for letting me uh, do this helpful I really do appreciate it uh, take care everybody
Thank you so much for checking out that really great channel introduction of Rook Knight. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by them, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check them out and consider subscribing. Every subscription makes such a big difference. I am very happy to try to showcase all of these great channels. If you'd like to have your channel shared, all you need to do is send me an email and make a really quick introductory video that uses royalty-free music and just encompasses what your channel is all about. And just send me an email and I'd really love to try to set it up. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you this week. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. And I just want to say thank you again to Rook Knight for sharing this great introductory video.